everybody, my name is Dylan May. Uh, this is my final project for um, injury prevention and care, uh, 210, or 213 in the lab. Uh, today we're going to be doing a basic ankle wrap and Ditter right here, Kyle Ditter. Hello, player out at Whitworth in Spokane. He's going to be my model, so super thankful he's helping me out. Uh, for this, we're going to need uh, these adhesive pads. We're going to need some pre-wrap to go on next and then just a bunch of athletic tape or just the normal elastic inch and a half athletic tape. So with that, we can go and get started. We're gonna first apply the adhesive pads. These are gonna go right on the front and then right over the Achilles tendon. And you wanna make sure that the, the athlete's foot is dorsiflex during this whole time. Once the pads are on, you start with the pre-wrap, and you're going to work from the base of the gastrocnemius down to the mid-arch on this. So you're going to start your wrap outside and work in. Then go around the heel. Then just take it right on back up. All right, so first, you're gonna start, you're gonna have just enough <laughs> elastic tape. You're gonna start with three anchor wraps around the top. And again, just like the pre-wrap, you're gonna work uh, outside in. And these, uh, these ankle wraps can be used, oh, sweet, just enough. Uh, these ankle wraps can be used for a number of different reasons, but primarily, like let's say you have an athlete who is uh, or like just sprained their ankle or maybe they have a chronically sprained ankle and they don't have a brace or they forgot their brace at home you can use uh, this basic ankle wrap uh, for those purposes all right so we got our three anchors and we're going to move to three stirrups moving around kind of the base of the heel then around the back or close to the apex, I should say, of the heel. And then one in the front. So you're going kind of midsole with your stirrups. All right, and then we just press those in. Now we're gonna do three heel strips down the back. Picking right up from where you stopped with your anchor wraps. And as you move down, you just want to follow that same halfway overlapping rule, or almost principle, with how much you end up using it. And it's all right if you leave a little bit of the heel exposed, because it's going to get covered with the next part. Speaking of the next part, we're going to go with three heel locks to a figure eight, and then finish with three more heel locks. So you'll start right on the outside, kind of uh, mid-lower leg, uh, right above uh, right above uh, the bone that comes out right here on the ankle. So again, just starting outside in. You go one loop around, then you're gonna go across the bridge, come uh, right by the planter, come out, you loop around, got a figure, or got your X right here. And then now you're gonna go around the apex, the heel, and then just around the uh, front. Then we're gonna figure eight. Figure eight around. All right, so what just happened, ran out of tape, which is all right. Don't freak out, you can just pick it up. What you wanna do is you just wanna overlap from where you just were. We were in the middle of the figure eight, so we're just gonna finish the figure eight pattern where we cross underneath the foot, and then we'll go back into three heel locks, um, and we'll finish the wrap from there. So, 
just picking up right from where I started. The tape ended right here, so I'm gonna go underneath the foot so we carry that same support. Right back up. Now we're gonna wrap around, come back down the other side. This is where that X is forming underneath the foot. And now we're just gonna go right back in to three more heel locks. So there's our first, and this next one is around, is around the apex. And our last one, go back around, come underneath. We'll finish with one more time around the foot. That takes care of the heel locks and the figure eight. From here, we're just gonna go, uh, remember our inside out or outside in taping method. We're just gonna go around and clean everything up. Stick into that halfway down okay. each time method. Just like that, you know, we still got a little bit of the heel exposed, but that'll be taken care of by the athlete's sock. We'll be all good to go. Uh, today we're going to be going over, you know, uh, pretty simple, just thumb taping. Uh, this tape method can be used for, you know, if you have damage to your, let's see, it's your ulnar collateral ligament right in your thumb. Uh, also known as skier's thumb, like they plant the pole. Uh, they come around the pole, get stuck, and rips the rips the ten or the ligament right here in your thumb. Uh, this is something that you can take care of. Like if that comes up, just uh, this tape method can be used just for support uh, for that until they can see a medical professional, or if it's not serious, just for the time being. So Ditter's gonna help me out again, do me a huge solid. Steven's on the camera, and uh, we're gonna get this thing going. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. You're gonna go with an anchor tape and then about four teardrops just around the thumb. So for the anchor tape, start one time around. It's good enough. And then for your teardrop, you're gonna start just inside the thumb. And the biggest thing with this one, while it's a pretty, like, you got about two steps with it, you just have to get, uh, make sure that you're your tapes are nice and smooth. So come around, there's the first one. Here's the second. And going into our third. And when you're going around this, you wanna make sure that you're your taping isn't too tight, or else you'll cut off circulation to the thumb, which especially in recovery, circulation is so crucial. All right. Then this is our last one, and as we come around, I just like to throw in one extra time, just kind of clean it up, and you'll just rip it off. You're clean, all good to go. Sweet. <laughs> 